Hello everyone, I am back today with another Dollar Tree DIY for fall. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, the first thing I did was I took this vase that I love the shape of and I spray painted it gold. You can use any spray paint of your choosing. Now the floral foam that I'm about to show you is completely optional. Everything you need for this project will be listed in the description box. You're going to need a variety of flowers, berries, cattails, and some floral tape, which I have, I forgot to actually show you, but you're going to see it as I start to put this arrangement together. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down about a, a little bit more of an inch on the first bunch of flowers that I'm going to start out with. I'm doing this because um, it bottoms out on the vase and I don't want it to actually push the whole arrangement out so I needed to cut that down so that it would sit all the way down in the bottom of the vase. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate all the flowers. Um, there's five flowers on this bunch and I'm going to put two off to the right, two off to the, to the left and then I'm going to leave one standing up straight. And that's so that you get a uniform look once you actually get the whole arrangement together. If you don't uh, push them apart where it's even on each side, it's going to look, um, it's not going to look neat. So that's why I'm doing that. And I'm going to do that for each bunch of flowers and berries and cattails that I have. I'm going to look at how many stems I have and I'm going to put an even amount on each side and spread it out before I actually start taping it together with this floral tape. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm looking to see how many stems I have. If I have six, I'm going to, put, I'm going to pull two to one side, two to the other side, and I'm going to leave two straight up. And then I'm going to tape it in place right on the back side and then just keep building it up. And I'm going to do that throughout the entire um, arrangement until I get done. And this foil tape, uh, you can get this at the Dollar Tree. It's also at Walmart and it's also on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. So I'm going to keep looking at the front side to make sure that everything is symmetrical, which means that <clears throat> the right side looks exactly like the left side. And I'm pushing it upward a little bit as I start to add the, the flowers on the back side. I'm pushing it upward a little bit so that you can kind of see it from the front side of the arrangement. And I'm just going to keep twisting the floral tape around until I get all of these on. For, you, for those of you out there who commented on my last video, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It gives me a lot of motivation. Also for you ladies who were looking for the more traditional um, fall centerpieces with a lot of orange in it, I do have a video where I created a very traditional centerpiece and I will have that link down below in the description box. So guys, what I'm basically doing is I'm making a bouquet out of these flowers and what that will allow me to do is put it into any vase that has a small opening at the top. It doesn't necessarily have to be the vase that I use. As long as it has a small opening at the top and it's not a wide mouth, you can use this in any type of vase. Um, if you want to make it more permanent, when you go to put it in your vase, you can just put some hot glue around the, the top of it and then that'll make it where it can't come back out. But I change up a lot, so I'm not going to be using glue on this project.
Now what I'm going to do now, since I have the entire uh, bouquet put together, I'm going to look at the arrangement and I'm going to reposition the flowers because I want the flowers at the bottom to kind of hang over the front of the vase. So I'm going to make sure that's doing that. And then I'm going to look at either side of the arrangement to make sure the right side looks very much like the left side. And that way uh, it's going to have a more neat look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it and kind of pull leaves forward that need to come forward. Uh, if I can't see the berries on one side versus the other, then I'll pull those forward until um, I get the look that I want. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like in my kitchen. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in my next fall DIY video. Bye-bye.